All right, so you're building out your lesson and I wanna show you how to attach um, files and other things, as well as walk you through the export options you have once you've created your lesson. So again, let's start our lesson off with a do now. And let's say I wanna come in here, I'm gonna use the smart guide, I'll put in, you know, maybe we'll do it for 15 minutes, everybody will do it independently. Now let's add an attachment. So when I hit add, it pops open my folder on my computer and we'll go to pictures and I'll pick out a little picture of my pup. And you can see it added it right here. So now if I click on it, it'll bring it up. Oh, there she is. Uh, her name is Kira. And all I have to do is hit save strategy. And so now you see here, if you wanna make sure that it's attached, you see here that it's right here in the bottom left-hand corner of your uh, strategy. You may have also noticed that when I clicked on this and held it, I can move it around. Uh, that's just a quick little secret there. And now if I want to export that attachment, all I have to do is go up here to export options, click, and you'll see now the title of that image, I had not renamed it, so that's actually from my camera. But if I click it, you'll see it'll open up right again for me. Similarly, if I go to export, let's say I wanna save this lesson and I wanna export the entire lesson itself, you always have that option and it exports it out into Microsoft Word. You can see it popped open down here called Marvel Avengers. That's the title of our lesson. Now, if I open it, you can see it has all the strategies that I have there and it lists the attachment, but you'll want to export the attachment separately because we try to keep the texts of your lesson plan separate from the images and files because you most likely are attaching handouts or attaching pictures or other things that you'll need to use and print out separately. One final place that you can look for exporting is if you go back into your class folder and look to the actions menu and you'll see in the drop down, there's an option to export the lesson. Now here you can export it with comments or without in case a coach or a peer has made comments. Those will come out with the Word doc if you'd like them to. And you can also export attachments from here. So again, not that we need to see it, but there she is again. And uh, so you have multiple places to find and export your attachments. You can do it from here in the actions menu, or you can actually go into the lesson itself. The last place, if you click preview lesson, and this is what your peers or coaches would see also, you can see this is the first strategy our do now that we put in. And our attachment is listed over here. Again, the link to my pretty pup. And uh, so there are multiple places to find it and then you can export up here as well. Lots of ways to export both attachments and your lesson uh, to make it easy to either transfer to a different folder or print it out so you have it for reference in your classroom.